Hey, woman. Whoa, looks like someone's got a lot of work to do. Yeah, us. Eddie Blackman is back in rehab, and we got stuck with this project. So why are we the ones expected to do twice as much for the same amount of pay? You know what this is? I'll tell you what it is. Discrimination. <laughs> Or it could be that we skipped the staff meeting this morning to go to Starbucks. That's when they took a vote on who should pick up the slack. Here's more of the work Eddie pretended to do while he was high. Yeah, I'm barely keeping up with my own work. How am I supposed to manage someone else's? Mona, hon, you gotta think outside the box of your job description. Go that extra mile. Be a true team player. All right, can you give me a file folder from the supply cabinet? Sorry, off the clock. <laughs> This journey of discovery and Finding you, I'm finding me Finding you, I'm finding me Now that I have someone special Who brings out the joy Brings out the joy Inside of me Inside of me <laughs> Every time we go out, it's better than the last. Did you put me under some kind of spell or something? Well, it's the uh, voodoo that I do do so well. <laughs> mm, you certainly do do. <laughs> You know, it's getting late. I should go. Go? No! Have to wake up early. Stock market opens at 5. Got to get there before the white boys. True. But, Neil, um, we've been dating for a while. And we go out, you drop me off and make that long drive home. It's OK if you want to, you know, spend the night. Really? That's sweet. I'll give you a wake-up call tomorrow. Hey, can I talk to you guys about something? Sure. Oh, anything for my girl. It's about me and Neil and sex. Anything but that. And if you're going to complain about Neil wanting it too much, la, 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 la. He doesn't seem to want it at all. OK, I'm back in the mix. <laughs> to take things slow, but we've been dating for two months and he hasn't even tried to unwrap the candy. <laughs> Something ain't right. I know. Is something wrong with me? Oh, there's plenty wrong with you. I've been keeping a list. <laughs> Don't listen to her, D. You're perfect. You're beautiful, you're smart, you got a banging body, and any brother who's not going for the nana when it's being offered up, huh, something ain't right. Look, Neil was a gentleman when I dated him in high school. He's probably waiting for some stronger signals. But what if coming on strong turns him off? Well, you got nothing to lose. You're not getting any anyway. And I've done it lots of times. Yeah, I can see it worked for you and your man. Oh, wait, you don't have one. Well, I've never had to be the aggressor, but if it gets things going, I'll give it a try. Oh, if it helps, you can practice on me. Use me, baby. Adam, what are you doing out there? Taking a break. Well, who's supposed to be answering the phone? I don't like to talk about work while I'm on a break. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you smoked. Please, I'm bitchy and I'm gay. It's the law. Move over, I need a break too. Yeah, I'm doing all the work, but that damn Eddie Blackman is somewhere strapped to a warm bed. Mm, you know, these cigarette escapes are the only thing that keep me sane. I call them my cig escapes. <laughs> this is me being clever. <laughs> Care to join? First one's free. Oh, no. Spencer and I helped each other kick the habit over a year ago, and we haven't fallen off the wagon since. How nice for you. <laughs> what made you stop? Oh, I don't know. The smell in my hair, the stains on my teeth, the five years it shaves off my life. Uh, those last five always suck anyway. <laughs> well, you better go back inside. I don't want to be responsible for your wagon fall. Come on, Mona. You know you want to take a smoke. Just do it. 
Do it. Mm. Okay, just one puff. Did you say something? Oh, that is good. Yay! A recruit. This makes us smoking buddies. Smutties. <laughs> Me being clever again. Listen, you've got to promise that you won't mention this to Spencer. Your secret's safe with me. Plus, there's no harm in having one cigarette, right? <laughs> oh, that is still good. Mama, it's me. Uh, where do you have the doggone chain on the door? Mama! Surprise. What are you doing in here? Ooh, are you hiding a man? <laughs> they were having a special on toilet paper at the store. Two for one, double coupon, no per customer limit. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, how to miss that sale? You have to be a preferred shopper. Anyway, I bought up a whole shelf, and I can only go through so much. So here you go. <laughs> Two fly, quilted. Girl, that's the good stuff. <laughs> I'll use it on special occasions. Thanks, Ma. Do you smell smoke? Uh, yeah, I think some kids lit a fire in the dumpster. You know, those wacky kids. <laughs> no, I smell cigarette smoke. Mona Thorne, I hope you have not been up to what I think you've been up to, and I know you know I'm gonna tell you what I think you've been up to. <laughs> You're smoking again, aren't you? Smoking? Me? No. See, uh, what happened was... <laughs> after work, I went for a drink with a friend and everyone in the place was smoking. And now it's in my hair, it's in my clothes, and I should probably go take a shower. Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You know those cigarettes are nothing but coffin nails. Anyway, I'm sorry for accusing you like that. I'm just looking out for my babe. I know. Well, yeah, I should well, probably go take that shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, uh, call me later. Let me know how you like that tissue. <laughs> necklace you want to fix from the jeweler and oh having a little rendezvous of sorts why would you ask that soft music the candles the peekaboo booty under that robe you're trying desperately to lengthen <laughs> i happen to be practicing some new relaxation study techniques ah, of course what class from law case map the ohio about illegal searches study eight one to keep me awake while i read one to put me to sleep when i'm done you're good I won't distract you any longer. Good night, Mother. Good night, dear. What'd you do that for? There are certain things a mother just doesn't want to see. <laughs> hey. Oh, Spence, great. I made us some snacks so we can work through the night. Oh, and here's some toilet paper for you. Oh, two black quilted. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Somebody's awfully happy. You high? No! I just decided not to let work get to me. You know, no worries. Akuna Matata, baby. Oh, well, I, got I got it. it. Oh. Now I know why you're so happy. I'm sorry, Spence. I had one puff with Adam, and now I'm hooked. But look how happy hooked is. Mona, we promised each other. I had your back, you had mine. Remember? Well... I'm smoking a brand that advertises in Jet Magazine, so inadvertently I'm helping black businesses. Uh, I'm so mad, I'm not even taking my toilet paper. <laughs> okay, just one roll. <laughs> hey, Didi, you planning to go to the movie like that? Sorry, I just got out of the shower, and I was about to have a glass of wine. Join me? OK. Well, cheers. Whoa. I still got to drive us to that movie. Well, I was thinking, we don't have to go out to a movie. We could just stay in. But I've already ordered the tickets. Fine. I'll go change. Okay. I wasn't going 
going to say anything, but it really needs to be said, so how shall I say this? Something ain't right. <laughs> the candles, the music, my peekaboo booty. Aren't you attracted to me? Yes. Oh, yes. And that's why we should go to that movie right now. Neil, what is going on? And please be honest. OK. I was waiting for the right time to tell you. Since you're half naked and I'm a man, <laughs> I think it's the right time. Dee Dee, I'm celibate. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're celibate? Is that reversible? I mean, like, you didn't take a bow or anything. Not that it makes much difference these days. No, it's a personal decision. Based on what? Sleeping with a string of bad women? It wasn't Mona, was it? No. I've only been celibate the last few years. Actually, it's been three years, 17 days, six hours. I would say how many minutes, but that would be pathetic. So why are you doing this? I just felt that sex really complicated things. All the sleeping around seemed so socially and emotionally reckless. So I decided to cut it off. The sex. <laughs> hey, everything still works. I just have to think about clowns. <laughs> Don't ask, they just freak me out. So years of built-up sexual tension. That can't be healthy, can it? Actually, it's worked out pretty well. But I was a little nervous about how you'd take it. So how are you taking it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Intimacy is really important to me, and I've never had a serious relationship without it. I guess I need time to think. That's cool. But could we keep this just between us? Absolutely. Three years? That can't be healthy, can it? I knew Neil was too perfect to be true. Oh, and I don't know if I can commit to a relationship without any intimacy. The dry spell already has me on edge. Now I know why you're so mean. <laughs> Look, sex can make relationships weird. So if you care about Neil as much as you bounce around here singing you do, then maybe you should find another way to make it work. Maybe you're right. Not only am I right, I'm tired and I'm going back to bed. Wait, <laughs> Mona. Since you helped me with my problem, I want to help you with yours. I don't have a problem. Unless you've been wearing essence of nicotine, you've been smoking. Ooh. Why is everyone freaking out? I can stop if I want to. I just don't want to. Mona, I care too much about you to let you puff your life away. Let me help you quit. No, thanks. Mona. Oh. All right, all right, I'll do it. Quitting is easy. I've done it lots of times. Good. <laughs> then let's start by you giving me all of your cigarettes. Okay. There you go. I've got all night. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Now can I go back to bed? Sure. Want me to take out your trash? Get. Look. I talked to Dee Dee and she told me she was helping me kick the habit. And as your best friend, it wouldn't be cool if I didn't help you too. Thanks, but it's been 14 hours and I'm hanging in pretty good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Dee Dee said I should check. What, you don't trust me? Yeah, she told me to check your bosoms too. But, you know, I didn't think that was wise, you know. In the workplace. <laughs> Incoming. Who pilots? Hotel room damage claims. Three o'clock deadline. I'm going on a break. No, you cannot have a cigarette. You gotta be strong. Look, if Snoop can give up the chronic, you can do this. Uh, so, I've had time to think about our sexual status, the celibacy thing, and I respect your decision. You mean a lot to me, so I guess I'll just have to get used to the idea of a non-physical relationship. Really? Yes. And you could help by not wearing those sexy buttonfly jeans <laughs> or the Calvin Klein t-shirts that hug your pecs like a second skin. <laughs> yeah, you should probably burn those. Dee, I know this isn't an easy decision, 
That says a lot about you. But I've also thought about this. And I think, no, I know, that I want you to be the one. The one what? <laughs> the one I want to be with. I've dated a lot of women and none of them come close to being as special as you. It just feels right. Really? Yes. Me? You. Wow. Now. Neil, wait. This is a lot of pressure. I mean, it's been three years. I can handle it. No, no. <laughs> I mean me. What if you resent me after because I'm the one who came between you and your re-virgin-hood-ness? So what do you want to do? I want to try your no-sex thing. We can focus our energies on the deeper aspects of our relationship. What do you think? I think I put a condom and a clean pair of drawers in my pocket for nothing. <laughs> but you're right. So now what? Well, I rented some old Spike Lee movies. Do the right thing or she's got to have it. Do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. <laughs> But it's kind of sexy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's be celibate in my bedroom. Ooh, where did you come from? <laughs> well, technically, I already smoked you. So if I finished you off, that's not like cheating, right? Oh, good answer. <laughs> Hello? Are you smoking? <laughs> Am I what? Aha! You answer the question with the question. Guilty. What are you talking about? Another question? Damn, girl, how many you had? <laughs> you know, I I'm hanging up now, and I I am disappointed in you that you have so little faith in me. I mean, what kind of friend are you? The kind of friend you just asked another question to. Put that thing out. <laughs> I did. Diddy's got my stash in her trash. what I call worth the wait mm. sex. You want some water? No, but I'll take a little more of this. Mm. <laughs> mm. Neil, don't you want to rest a couple of minutes? Baby, I've got three years built up. I'll think about resting in a couple of days. <laughs> mm. So <Ooh>. <laughs> mm. Ooh, I like that. Oh. <laughs> mm. Adam, <laughs> uh, well, hello, you're on a break, but Spencer, what are you doing out here with him with that? What? Sorry, Mona, I was cool, but all this talk about smoking <laughs> has got a brother kind of fading. <laughs> but you're the strong one. How did this happen, Adam? I don't respond to accusations while I'm on a break. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know I let you down, Mona, but I'm human too. <laughs> Who knew? Spencer, wait. If you get hooked, I will never forgive myself. I can't be strong for the both of us. Okay, if you promise not to like this, I promise to go cold turkey. And you can check my hair every day. And my bosoms, too. I'll go cold turkey if you check my bosoms. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. For her, not you. And dude, those are not bosoms. <laughs> I won't let you down this time. Give that. Ah! Sorry. Slick, Rick. You had no intention of lighting that cigarette. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, she believed it, and that's all that matters. See, Mona's not as strong as me, so I had to do what I do. Come on, Spencer. That's one little cigarette. Just do it. Okay, you're gonna need to stay away from the nicotine queen. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.